Yellowstone is a magical place, but its sights can be a jaunt between each one. And trying to see many of them during your vacation can be challenging. We find being strategic about your accommodations can mean having time to be able to see the top sites around the National Park. But sometimes where you stay is based on wherever you can get reservations. Because lodging is a hot commodity when it comes to Yellowstone. I usually book our trips a year in advance so we can get the right locations. In this video, we are going to show you some of our favorite lodges in Yellowstone. Our picks are due to their location, food, cleanliness, ranger programs, and a lot more. Although we are not in the room much during the day because we are tromping around the valley, but in the evenings, having a nice place to read by a fireplace, having a good meal, and a great ranger program is important to us when it comes to the evenings. When our kids used to go with us, it was also about where I could entertain the kids in the evenings and not have to worry so much about the abundance of wildlife in the area. We start staying in more populated areas, such as the Old Fateful area. So let's take a look at some of our favorite places to stay in Yellowstone National Park. the lodge we're staying in, the Old Faithful Lodge, it's Old Faithful, and then there's many other geysers that you can walk out to. This is Old Faithful Inn. I remember the clock. We got the old faithful geyser clock over here. see footing. Look at the Nat Geo guys out there. <laughs> what are they looking at? <laughs> so yeah, there's a bar up here. Staying at the end, this deck up here is like a really good deck to watch Old Fateful. Um, and especially if you have elderly people with you, it's a really good place to sit them down and uh, wait for the eruption. You're not in a yurt. The Old Faithful Lodge, not to be confused with the inn, and we have a cabin reserved here. And it's literally across from Old Faithful which is right there. 
This is uh, like funny. You're uh, we're the Coloradans, so they give us the 420 room. <laughs> it's a cute little cabin. We've got a little sink and a really small bed. <laughs> And private bathroom. And a private bathroom. Scores! So. <laughs> but that okay. bed. So that's good for me. Where the hell are you sleeping? <laughs> Look at that bed. It's like so small. Is I there... Put, I can put the air mattress here. <laughs> it's really weird. It's like the end of summer. Not the end of summer. It's really weird. It's like... The beginning of summer. Beginning of summer. It's June. The end of June. And... It's Yellowstone. There's like nobody here. Tomorrow's my birthday, so what's the date today? <sighs> so they actually have a gym here. This is very cool. Food. We sit in this big room and watch Old Fateful erupt. And there's a squirrel in here. <laughs> That's just nuts. <laughs> you open the door, shoot him out. Cafeteria style food. Right there is ice cream. They also have like a little bistro type place for coffee. But it's very cool. This is where you sit down for the cafeteria. And then you can sit on this nice deck in a rocking chair and watch Old Fateful erupt. The law, the inn is right there. That's Old Fateful Inn. So, which is really, really nice. You see how it's starting to puff a little bit more? I also can smell sulfur a little bit more now. So it's almost like it's gonna blow her top here soon. Down here, where it's really quiet in the lodge, there's just not very many people. If you get in the 400 series, down below, as you can see, the parking lot is pretty empty and it's nice and quiet. It's just better. So here on the 327 is like right next to the river. It's kind of nice. What I like about this is there's no stairs. You can park right there. And you can put your chairs out here and relax and Look out in the forest. So if you're able to request a cabin, 327, it's very similar to ours, but it just seems like it's in a nicer area.
nice restaurant here. Bistro. Nice fireplace if you want to come in and warm up. And a nice little convenience store with items of the area. That's the that's the inn, that's Old Faithful Inn. And then this is our lodge. So you can see we're very close. And then this is the snow lodge is over here. Um, so everything's just kind of in a circle around Old Faithful. And then there's many other geysers. Um, you can see them off in the distance. So they're all walking distance. There you Second ago, how big Old Faithful really erupts. Look at the size of these buildings, and it's erupting right now. Um, it's pretty high. Lake Lodge and as you can see it's snowing um, it's June 23rd <laughs> so always make sure you have parkas with you afternoons weather always comes in in this area that's looking out to the Jackson area it's out to the south and then we have the lake hotel which is the exact same plans as the Fountain Hotel was. And it is beautiful. And as you can see, it's got this beautiful, beautiful view. Let's sit here. And look at the beautiful you view. Stay here sometime. This awesome view of the lake. Just gorgeous. The room is exquisite. It is really, really, really nice. beautiful view of the lake. taking you to some of our favorite places to stay. But do note that there are many more accommodations throughout the park. If you are staying in the park for a week, we recommend that you stay in a few different places so you can see the park without hours of driving. <laughs> 